We have about 30 people coming along today to the performance of the Australian String Quartet, many with little or no experience at all of hearing aids. So it's a fantastic demonstration of uh, the sonic touch. What is great about this demonstration is that the various instruments within the string quartet actually replicate a lot of the sounds of speech, being from the violin all the way down to the cello. So the clarity that people will be able to hear the performance will have direct implications to the way they might be able to follow conversations in real world environments. Played at St Kilda uh, and Hawthorne for 15 years. Um, school teacher for 30 years, I'm trying something different. I started a, a new job because I became a salesman. Uh, the big billboards, uh, banners, posters, the big uh, UV digital print. I've been to nearly 200 separate companies to try and sell the product. And I'm trying to persuade these people or break down long-term relationships to get my foot in the door. So in my position where I'm a salesman, if I can't take on board what they're trying to tell me, I'm I'm really under the pump. Well, I actually have two jobs, uh, and they're closely related. I'm a piano teacher, and I have been a piano teacher for 35 years. And then I'm a music school teacher. When you have a class of children, and they do speak quietly, some children don't speak very loudly, it's very hard to hear them, so you have to say, pardon, tell me it again, a nice big voice, to try and understand what they're trying to say. I think the hardest part was not being able to hear the children. It's sometimes really difficult here because you've got the radio going, there's bikes being tuned, so there's the whir of bikes spinning, you know, wheels and people talking. It actually is really echoey in here. It's kind of like really hard to concentrate on what someone's saying to you and often you know you lose track of the conversation people don't think you're really paying attention to what they're saying I just found it really hard to to concentrate on what someone was saying to me with all the noise and that, that really made it difficult socially we're going along to see the string quartet well I wore the touch for a week just to, to sort of get it all tuned in and try it out um, I guess the the real acid test, if you like, will be to sit there and put it on music mode and actually listen to the sound. And um, for me, it'll be good to sit in an actual, I guess, um, auditorium or theatre and listen to that kind of sound. I um, actually developed Meniere's disease and uh, that had some damaging effects to my hearing and balance as well. And uh, yeah, the hearing's just degenerated rapidly over the last two years or so and um, yeah just made some phone calls and went out and had them um, fitted and programmed and yeah just come here today to test them out I guess. My kids went to Melbourne Grammar and we did a lot of this type of stuff, uh, all three of them and to be honest I couldn't hear all the, the, the stuff that I wanted to hear uh, so I'm quite excited about what I'm about to experience this afternoon.
The world's smallest hearing aid has been unveiled in Melbourne. The size of a five cent coin it was trialled today and for a group of hearing impaired people it was music to their ears. They've each been fitted with the world's smallest hearing aid, the size of a five cent piece, easily fitted inside the ear and is barely visible. I found it um, emotional. This new device is half the size of a normal aid. Many here today say it's going to help them lead a normal life. It was just fantastic. That's the very first time I've, I've been able to hear a violin or a cello. Uh, everything before that just sounded like a, a double bass. I guess just then I could hear the real depth and the clarity of the performance. So it was, I was actually, I think I spent half the time shaking my head. So it was excellent. We feel very privileged, I think, definitely to bring this kind of music to a wider audience. Um, it's always very, very um, special to us because, yeah, this could be the first hearing for someone and first impressions are always the most important. I guess the Australian String Quartet event was very much about introducing the world to the Sonic Touch, which is the world's smallest ever hearing aid, about 50% smaller than everything else. But it's also automatic. Now, when I say automatic, I guess what I'm saying is that it will listen to the environment and will adjust all of the settings within the hearing aid so you can be in a quiet environment like this room or go outside into a noisy traffic situation or into a restaurant. And the Sonic Touch will actually listen to the environment and change the settings of the hearing aid uh, to provide the optimal listening experience for the wearer. I did have tests for hearing and they said, well, borderline and they would like me to use a hearing aid and I didn't want to because people would know, people would see it and they'd think, you old thing, you, and we don't want to talk about age, do we? I thought, well, I'm going to have to do something. The first time, I, even when I first put it in and it was explained how it worked and how to put it in and everything and it was very clear, they were very helpful, um, suddenly I thought, goodness me, I could hear all this that I didn't even know existed. It was just incredible that suddenly I could hear so much and I didn't realise that I'd probably live, be in a world that was toned down and I didn't realise for all this time that it's been toned down. Putting these, uh, the touch ones on, uh, certainly made a, a complete difference. I could walk out with the dog uh, in the mornings, um, which I generally do, my little mate, and um, I could hear birds. And, and I, I know that might sound strange for someone who's got hearing, but I haven't heard birds for, I reckon, 20 or 30 years. Family, it's been absolutely fantastic. My work environment has been, it, it's in, improved in, enormously. It's a lot like listening to stereo sound for the first time, and you actually get that depth in the sound and the crispness of the sound, and you can actually really clearly hear the words or music or whatever. It makes a huge amount of difference. I don't know whether it's hereditary or not. We had my brother's 50th birthday at my uh, place last Saturday, and Dad's got the hearing life also because he's a pensioner, he got well looked after, and um, so it was great for the first time I could speak to my dad. Hearing is very important. I didn't realise how much I was losing by not using this hearing aid. And in my job, or in both the jobs, in my piano teaching and also my school teaching, I can't do without it.